island. Are you all right? Okay, we just defeated this giant crazy chicken. And Juliet's still in the middle of her mushroom trip here, so. Nope, not quite yet. Yeah. Again, like I said, they just throw in every kind of ridiculous thing they could think of in this level, and it just goes on. It's crazy. Uh, now we're on a tractor. <laughs> we're just going to thresh through <laughs> some zombies. you got to kill a hundred of them. Which, for this part, means you have to kill them all. If you miss one and you can't find him, you'll be sitting here circling and circling trying to find the one zombie you didn't kill. Mm, a ding -dong, yes. No, no, like, like a pot brownie. No way. I would never do drugs. Me neither. Gross. Right. I have no idea what a space cake is like. It totally doesn't remind me of the way I feel right now at all. <laughs> all good. I wanted to talk some more about Deadland Wonderland. Which is where this costume that Juliet's wearing right now is from. The Shido costume. I already said the uh, the main character, Ganta Igarashi, was a really young kid who was framed for the murder of his classmates and was sent to Dead Man Wonderland, which was this uh, really crazy prison where they... Uh, they hold, like, gladiator battles, and usually manga comics involve some type of science fiction or fantasy theme. And obviously this one was no different. Really violent, though. But he meets this character of Shiro in the prison, becomes like his first friend. And he can't remember anything about his past. After the earthquake that destroyed most of Tokyo, he can't remember his past. Apparently they were childhood friends and he didn't even remember that, which drives Shiro completely up the wall. Cool, whenever you take those guys down, make sure you stand there and wait for the coins from the person you just saved. And we're going to be needing these blaster bullets. A lot of chainsaw blaster in this level. Matter of fact, in every level after this, there's lots of chainsaw blaster. Here we go, get it! That's a great move. That drill. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Keep it moving. And we're still trying to find Rosalind on this bus that she bought. But these flying zombies, these can drive you crazy. Because they dive at you. If you can't get a beat on them quickly. Yeah. Nice. Very, very cool. I agree. Oh. <laughs> that was not, however. And don't forget the bullet. We're going to need it. But in Dead Man Wonderland, like I said, Ganta was framed for murdering his classmates, and the person that actually did it was someone called the Wretched Egg. Which is a really, you know, I'm an American, that sounds really strange, an American, the Wretched Egg. But he called them the Red Man, and the whole time that he was in this prison, he was trying to, uh, obviously prove his innocence. Okay, there's a part over here, hold that thought. There's a part over here, you can run past it, but there's this trampoline. Which is the same kind of mini game that you're doing all the way through the game. You do it all without messing up, and you blow all their heads off. 
then you keep Pop going it. up. Impressive. And this is where one of the collectible lollipops will be, but obviously I already got it. All right, all good. And then another mini game with Nick. But the character of Shiro, because of all the unspeakable torture that she was forced to endure at a young age, developed a split personality in a really, which I did not see coming, a really unique twist that they threw in. As it turns out, Shiro was the wretched egg. Her split personality was really violent and homicidal, and as it turned out, Shiro was the wretched egg and the entire reason why Ganta was trapped in Dead Man Wonderland in the first place. Really crazy twist. Wasn't expecting that at all. I don't know. I don't know if any of you are interested in ever uh, reading or watching the animated story. If so, sorry about that spoiler. I didn't warn you. Spoiler! My bad. Okay, this part's real easy so far. I think it's right after this part right here where they start running. And they're a lot harder to shoot. They move faster. Nope. It's right after this, then. Yep, there we go. Get him! Yeah! And obviously, every time they come out of the ground, they come out in greater numbers. Don't let him get to the buzz. Stop. Nice. What if you flew up in a helicopter over a horde of zombies and you saw they were standing in the shape of a smiley face emoticon? Okay, I really thought it was going to do some damage right there, but here we go. Last wave, right? No, that can't be it. Okay. All right, very cool, and not one of them hit the bus. That's unusual. Because I usually suck with this chainsaw blaster. Which we're going to have to use right here, too. <laughs> the zombies are in tractors, and they're going to come over and hit that rock and crush the bus. Okay. And of course, we have to stop and answer the phone. Cordelia, Zombie Hunter 101. The faster you finish a stage, the higher your stage clear bonus. Of course, you should also kill as many of those undead a holes as you can. Yeah, and that's actually really good advice for beating her father's high score, which is how you unlock all the skins and all her health upgrades and all of the music that's in it. Uh oh, another mushroom. Well, guess what's going to happen now? <laughs> We're going to start tripping balls. See the big, thick, padded gloves? Now there's three chickens. Are you shitting me? As if that one wasn't hard enough. All right, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no matter how big and weird looking, it's just really hard to take chickens pecking at you seriously. And these are just like weird mutated freaks. Get it! Slash it! <laughs> Nick somehow is just really calm through all this. He just really trusts Juliet's skills. Okay, this isn't done. This isn't really a boss battle, I don't think, but it kind of feels like one. Okay, robotic chicken heads. 
coming at you. Ah. Yeah, I wasted a little time there on that last jump. If you do it just right, you can... Whoa, jump. If you do it just right, move. You can get him on the first shot down. Because that one was already half dead anyway. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, nope. My bad. Oh, he let me have it. No, there's no reason I should have had that. He should have pulled away. But, no complaints. Let's do this. Mecha Chickenzilla. Is that like Mecha Streisand? Yeah, there we go. Was there ever a South Park game that had Mecha Streisand in it? And if they're, I mean, <laughs> could they get away with that? Couldn't Barbara Streisand, who already didn't like it to begin with? Yeah, couldn't she sue? I don't know. Okay, this one here, these keep respawning, so you don't have to uh, kill every single one, but you have to kill 300 of them and not hit the red barrels. The red barrels obviously explode and do damage. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> just threshing through. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. Go, go, go! I'm pretty good at driving a tractor, huh? Uh, sure. You're lying. I can tell. You crinkle your nose. Like that time you told me you didn't think Michelle Martin was hot. Can we just kill zombies, please? Uh, yeah, see, we're not even halfway through these yet. This goes on a little bit. It's just one more just weird thing they threw in this level. And it's nothing difficult. All you have to do is, you know, not hit the barrels. That's pretty much the trick. Run their asses down, Juliet. But I think the creators of this game had a really good time making this level. And somebody got an idea, and they were like, okay, great, let's do that. And then when that's done, they just, something completely different, and they threw that in, too. And then something else, and so this level goes on and on and on. This is the weirdest day ever. I know. It's a I lot of fun, though. Around, literally. And I really like the music a lot, especially in the boss, in all the boss battles in this game. There's really great music. Especially in the one after this. The one after this, the uh, the boss is a, a funk zombie. Like a Rick James Parliament Funkadelic style zombie. Very cool. Run their asses down, Juliet. Alright, we're right up on it. Two more guys, come on. <laughs> Yeah, that took a little while. Oh, there she is. What's up, Rosalind? Let's go. Hold on. Where are you going? God, what's going on? I feel kind of dizzy. Like that time Father O'Malley roofed me. Why do you keep running away? Whee! How do you like my form, Nick? I hate this. I think I just stepped in cow poop. I know. Like a uh, truth be known, you really don't need these coins, because like I said, there's a part of this coming up in a little bit where you can just do so much sparkle hunting, which gives you a lot of medals. See that pole in the middle? We're supposed to go over there and do that, but I want to try for sparkle hunting. There it is. Which doing that pole spin does not give you sparkle hunting. Hold on, back up, back up. And... Nope, not that time. What? 
thought that. No, I thought I had it that time. I, there's no reason why they shouldn't have given it. Didn't I take out like three or four of them right there? I think we got screwed. Come on, come on. Okay, we're supposed to jump off the bridge right there, but lollipop and more coins over here. Okay, now we're down. Completely different part. <laughs> okay, so this one, we have zombies flying that throw chickens at you. Very nice. Very cool. While at the same time, we're going to have zombies running at us at the bottom. And I'm going to stand a little bit back. So I can take out the guys on the ground and not have to deal with the flying guys at the same time. That plus I want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, there's some more. Come on, I want to do it again. Come on, give it to me one more time. Yep, very cool. Yeah, that drill move is really effective. Oh, I'm getting hit with chickens. Stop it. Alright, yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait a minute, I can't cut through the log. Oh, that means I missed somebody. That's what that means. Where did I miss a guy? I don't see anybody in the sky. Wait, wait, wait. There you are, you sneaky little bastard. Okay, tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching.